Hey everybody, uh, Zuggeridal here, and today I am joined on this diorite platform with two cats, and these cats are going to be helping me build the farm that we're going to do. Uh, site A here is starting to quickly become our, uh, well you can see Site B in the background. Uh, site A here is starting to become our uh, industrial district with all of our automatic farms and stuff, and this being the... Uh, main spawn area that means that these areas are always going to be working uh for the most part so we've got some stuff to do and uh that being said i'd like to scratch one of the uh scratch one of the to-do things off of our list over there we are building a creeper farm so let's go ahead and get started in that uh to start off i did what i always do and i put down a 15 by 18 uh, I put down a 15 by 18 um, foundation of diorite and as always I'll explain it the reason I use diorite polished diorite is because you don't find polished diorite in the wild um, so if I'm underground digging up and I don't know where I am and I hit polished diorite I can go oh that's one of my farms I really should stop uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. Aside from our two ca cats, everything that we need is going to be inside this shulker box. Uh, I have a bed right here just in case it gets dark. And that's it. We need four building, uh, four stacks of building blocks. And you can use any kind of building blocks you like. Uh, I'm using the stone brick so it kind of matches the aesthetic we got going on. Uh, we need two stacks of birch trap doors and I think we only need one stack and then 62 but I went ahead and I made two stacks uh, we need 12 pieces of carpet uh, two water buckets or you can just make a uh, endless water source and just use the one but I went ahead and grabbed two a bucket of lava 12 pieces of glass two hoppers two chests and four signs and this uh, this little um, this little uh, design comes from the YouTuber Chapman, which I will put a link in the description and also uh, a link on the actual uh, a link on the actual on the video itself. It is late, and that is why I'm speaking like this. So let's go ahead and get to building. Um, using this, um, I made it so that this is one block bigger on all sides so I'm gonna go ahead and start here and I'm gonna put my first block here so I can just go all the way around like that okay so that's that and I'm gonna go ahead and put another one here now a really cool thing about this about this farm is that it's a mirrored so this is gonna be a relatively easy thing to do we're going to need to go up four from here. So one, two, three, four. And we can just keep doing that like this. You can build one side as a at a time as uh, Chapman does. But I was playing around with this and I found that doing it like this is a little easier for me. Next, we're going to need two going in. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. All right, and then this goes like that. All right, and that is the majority of, that's the shape of the farm. That's that's it, this is an incredibly easy build. Uh, we are gonna make this two blocks high though, so might as well get on that. I know kitten cats, we will get to you very shortly. Okay, so there's that. Next, we're gonna go ahead and need our trap doors. And we're gonna go down to the center and on the center back wall, we're gonna put this on the second brick up, but on the bottom, just like that. Now these are our kitty cat thrones. It's going to be kind of fun trying to get the cats in there, but it is possible. So let's go ahead and get them up 
as we can. What I like to do is this. You can use leads if need be. But if you can get a cat to sit up here, here they come. Come on, a little higher. Gotcha. And you just push them right up there. Okay. There we go. Kitty cat throne. Now let's come on over here. This little guy will do the same. Come on. Sometimes they want to be a pain. Come on up. Come on. Come on up. <laughs> there we go. Gotcha. Oh, <laughs> scared you. Come on. This is the most time consuming part. Come on, little guy. Hold on. Oh, oh, gotcha. Alright, so now that he's up there, we can just go ahead and push him over. Just make sure you keep him inside. <laughs> go on, you, you little booger. There we go. There we go. All right, hard part's done. Yeah, wow, you're up there. Okay, now that we got the cats and the cat thrones, what we're going to do now is we're going to dig out this. Just like that. All right. And it's getting dark, so this is a good time to be doing this. Might not want to have a good shovel as much as I have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take advantage of the dirt. I'm probably going to replace the dirt here later. Um, but right now what I need is a hole like that. And let's go ahead and go one more down. Okay, so we're going to put that like this. Probably would be safer to get out of here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get some sleep. Okay, so the majority of the, f the farm is actually already done. Uh, incredibly, incredibly simple way to go about this. So that is going to be where the creepers fall. So the next step, what we're going to do is take these and line the top. This makes it so that it's not a full two blocks high. Oh, you got to crouch. Remember to do that. And you can use any kind of uh, you can use any kind of trap door. So the only reason I'm using birch is because I happen to have a lot of birch to play with. But what you're going to want to do is trap your cat in there. Uh, you can actually do this from the top, too. You don't have to do this from the bottom. Which I'm probably going to do in the, next, in the other side. But go ahead and... Put that right in there. Oh, need the other uh, the other stack. Okay, done. Okay, so we need that. I'm gonna go through here. Okay, and this is what it should look like with your cat right there. We're gonna do the same thing over here, but this time I'm gonna go through the top. Does it really matter which? way the doors are facing. That's just a look. Uh, we will not be opening these up anymore. This, like I said, is just to make it so that the uh... oh, I guess it is easier to do it from the bottom for me anyway. Uh, this is just to make it so that the uh, so it's not a full two blocks tall. Um, creepers are a short 
hostile mob. And since they're short, they will still spawn in here. But since this does not let a full two blocks go, zombies and skeletons will not. Now, that being said, we do have one other mob that could very well spawn in here, and that's spiders. So we got to make sure the spiders don't spawn. Now, it will interrupt the efficiency, but if you want to make it so that spiders get caught up in this thing too, by all means, go ahead. But the black carpet is going to stop that from happening. The way that it works is just do that, and then two. Okay, right, and then two. You just always, if you skip two, you will have enough room to do that. Actually, you know what? I'm doing it in, a wrong, in the wrong pattern. Okay, you want to make it so that the floor does not allow anything that's as wide as a spider to. So you're going to skip two. And skip two. There you go. Skip two, go down. Skip two, go down. Skip two, go down. That's it. Let's go ahead and do that. Skip two, go down. Skip two, go down. Like that. There you go. They're all placed and they're all ready to go. Now, I am going to close this. That way anything that spawns is going to get stuck in there. We need a killing chamber. So what I'm going to do is take these. So anything that runs in here is going to get kicked that way. See, I think we'll dig one more down. All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and make an endless water supply. This is all this is always helpful. I don't know why I just didn't start doing this. Okay. Now like I said, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to go through here and and uh, block it up nicer, but this is pretty much all we need. Okay. That's going to push on to here. So let's go ahead and do this. Right now what we're going to do is build the killing chamber. Such a great name, isn't it? So violent. Um, I'm going to do that. Need those. Need these. Don't need that. That. And glass. Okay, let's get going. All right, so the next thing we need to do is put down our hoppers. We just crouch and put them down, and they will face into these blocks. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and put our chest down like there. So if anything gets mixed up in our little water, goes right down, gets caught up. Okay. Now, we want it to make it so that they... Everything gets washed into there, but we don't want it to go any further. So, what I'm going to do is put that there. I'm trying to remember how to do this out of, by memory. And, you know what? I'm being silly. Again, which is what I seem to do. Go ahead and use my silk touch shovel to pick that up. Okay, so we want to put this here. All right. 
and like that. And then the wall followed by a block of lava. All right, so what we did is we just made a lava blade. And then what I'm going to do is put a ceiling on the lava blade. Just like that. Okay, and that way the creeper can't jump. Oh! <laughs> See what happens when you use tools that are too good for a job? Let's put myself out there. Up, up. There we go. Let's go get that sign that fell in there. There we go. Take that out too. There we go. Let's grab that. Yeah, mistakes happen. Not a big deal. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do another one there. Alright, so we can fill this in if we want to. And the next step is to prime our farm. So coming on up here, everything looks ready. <laughs> there we go. And we're just going to cover this with whole blocks. So you need to crouch and place. Even over the kitty. That kitty is going to live off fear now. Just make sure you cover every one of those trap doors with a stone block. Or any kind of solid block. Again, I do not ever suggest dirt. Um, primarily because an Enderman is going to wreck your day. <laughs> Now, another wonderful thing about this farm is that it is stackable. You can build another exact replica of it right on top and have them fed right into the same killing chamber. All right, now, that should be good. That should be good, that should be it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that block there for now. Now, you're gonna either want to cover this top in slabs or light it up, but this is the farm. And like I said, you can do the exact same thing where you just build the walls up around here, make them too high, so that high, and then put the follow the whole design, put the cats in again, all that stuff. You will need cats for each layer if you're going to do more. Um, this one is probably going to grow over time. I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep because it doesn't matter if it's night or day. Now this is not, and I want to stress, not an XP farm. You can make it an XP farm, but uh, a, a creeper XP farm sounds kind of dangerous to me. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can make this nice a uh, straight shot so we can see what's going on. But what you want is to be good and far away. I think you might actually need to be about 120 blocks away uh, to make this thing work properly which is why I built it pretty far out there, but still in our area. So, let us see how this thing works. I think we might be too close still. Now let's just go, I'm gonna go unload everything that I have on me. 
I know we're running close to it again, so whatever progress it had <laughs> is all it's going to get for at the moment. But we should be good. And like I said, you can make it bigger. That's not the full size that it has to be. But what you want is to be far enough away from it so that it will... Um, so that it will have a chance to let things spawn, because monsters don't tend to really spawn right where you are. Okay, so I think that's enough stuff. Let's see if we're close. Let's see if this is uh, going to work for us. Because it is such a good active farm. stuff out of there. Hmm. Well, I guess we could. There is a good way to check. And I wish we had Optifine, because it helps. But if we grab... A couple of stacks of dirt. Tell you what I'll do is I'll grab three, just in case. We're going to go over to the, tilling, the killing chamber, and we're just going to dig... Or we're going to just go straight up. And that way, we should be at the highest that we need and also a good distance. This is what people call an AFK area. We might have to utilize an AFK area. Okay, this is still not far enough. stacks should be good. <laughs> it's ridiculous as this sounds. But we want to make sure that there's enough room for us to let our creepers spawn. Oh, 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 oh. There's one. We got one. I saw one. <laughs> Oh, clouds, of course. Look at the army of distraction. And this isn't that bad if you've got an elytra, which we do. I don't think we need to be this high up, because I did see them coming before we went. God, you can't see anything past those clouds. But the creepers, there's, oh, here they come, here they come. I think you can see this right past the clouds. I saw a bunch of creepers coming. Yep, there comes another one. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so what's happening is the creepers are spawning inside and the cats are scaring them. They're, ru they're running. And when they run, they... <laughs> Army of Reapers. Uh, as they run, what happens is they see the trap doors on the edges, and they believe that those are solid full blocks. They try to run away from the cat over the trap doors, and they fall into the water. The water pushes them out into the blade, and we get our gunpowder. So let's hop on down there and take a look at our our spoils. We will need to make a AFK area that's about a stack and a half high. 
which is not a big deal. Basically, you set yourself up in your AFK area when you can't play. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, look at that. We were up there for just a few minutes, and we've already got 22. What are you getting stuck on? There you go. All right. You get to see it in action. There you go. It falls. And anything they drop gets put inside there. Awesome. So, that is that. I might build a few more levels on here over time. Probably not for the next few episodes, but it will be in uh, in between episodes. Um, it's going to be the it's going to be identical to this. Um, the thing is, the more that you build, you might have to make your AFK area higher too. But that being said, we have a cat powered creeper farm. We've got gunpowder, and we can now start collecting enough rockets to use our elytra on the regular so let's go check to see that so after that f just few seconds of being up in the sky we got 22 gunpowder and i'm sure there are more effective ways and if you light up everything underneath it which i'm gonna do you'll get you're gonna uh, guaranteed to get a higher yield of uh of gunpowder but let's go ahead and do this just to see what we got for those few seconds for those few seconds we got over a stack of rockets that we can use as either fireworks or rockets for uh uh, for the elytra use, so that is awesome. <laughs> so I would call this a success. I think I might go one or two levels higher and definitely build an AFK platform up there. Um, probably end up having to fly to it. But that, my friends, is it. So <laughs> you guys have a great day. You keep playing with your kids, keep playing Minecraft, and try not to grow up too fast yourself. And we will see you next time for the next thing. Oh, oh, oh! Before I leave, as I'm pushing all the wrong buttons, we got something to do, don't we? We finished a thing. We have a working creeper farm. Bye. <laughs> My tools are too strong. All right. Either way, I'm so excited. We have two things completely finished crossed off of our list that is great keep in mind that i'm still accepting um i'm accepting suggestions for more projects to go on that list and with creeper farm all together we are one step closer to fighting that wither have a great day bye